Hi everyone, I wanted to show you an album that I just finished for a girlfriend of mine. This is for her new baby. Um, it is a 6x8 album that I used a combination of things that are in my stash, not only stamp sets, uh, but also things like Picture My Life cards and uh, other papers. So this is using a combination of Picture My Life cards uh, from the As You Grow, sorry for my hand, um, the As You Grow Picture My Life cards, as well as the um, Sawyer Picture My Life cards. Uh, the paper pack that I used primarily throughout this was the Sawyer paper pack and sticker sheet with some additional uh, papers from the mix-ins uh, and cardstock that I used. So the Sawyer paper pack uh, was a couple of catalogs ago, and like I said, I was doing some stash busting to make this, and this is uh, the paper that I have left over. So you can see it does have somewhat of a girly theme, but not too girly. It's not it's not overly um, pink, uh, so to speak. So it's got the mulberry and the wisteria, the sage, uh, as well as some nectarine and some lemonade uh, and flamingo all uh, in this. Another option that I looked at to kind of combine with this was Life is a Hoot. Uh, again, you can see there's a lot of similar sort of colorways uh, within Life is a Hoot, so this would also work as well. This is leaning a little bit more towards the purples uh, versus sort of the combination of various different um, other colors. But again, I think they would match and work really well together especially if you have some mix-ins that you can add in some additional colorways to. So some of the other things that I used uh, were our uh, flip flaps. So mostly I am using the four by six uh, flip flap, but this, this first one on the front is a three by four flip flap. And obviously I use page protectors, but I added in some additional page protectors, the six by eight um, page protectors that have uh, four spots, or sorry, two spots, uh, two four by six spots, and then also the page protectors that have the four three by four spots to add some different additional space into uh, the album. Lastly, a lot of the colors I already mentioned that I used uh, were intense black ink, mulberry, which you'll see throughout, wildberry, sage, flamingo, lemonade, and nectarine. So those were the colors that I used for stamping or for adding um, some additional color. I used uh, pens for coloring as well because a lot of the stamp sets that I used uh, required coloring. And I used a combination of a number of tri-blend markers uh, that I will try and pull up here, sorry. Um, so the tri-blend markers that I used uh, were pale pink shades, yellow gold, muted brown, gray brown, pale pink, dusty purple, citrus, aqua, blue blend, and uh, true blue. So again, those were the coloring ways that I used. I used a Le Pen black journaling pen and then this older silver ing ingot, ing 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 I can't say that word. <laughs> A pen as well for some additional uh, highlighting around some things. So I'll talk about the stamp sets as I go through, but I did want to flip through this just so that you could see the the way that I put it together and um, and how I use these flip flaps and page protectors. So as I said, this is a three by four. This is a picture of my life card from the As You Grow, uh, and then I just put a cover. Uh, labels here so that she could put her name, the date um, her daughter was born, and the time, and any other information. And then this is also a flip flap that's holding that Picture My Life card as well, and that's just adhered directly to the book. This flip flap obviously is adhered directly to the, the underlying flip flap. All right, so as we go through this, uh, again, the Sawyer papers, I added shimmer trim. This is a uh, wild berry shimmer trim, and this is lemonade sh shimmer trim. This is now not in stock. So again, as I did, as I said, I went through a lot of my stash and I started using my stash 
to create this book. So some of these things I'm going to talk about are not available anymore, like the Lemonade Shimmer Trim. Some of the stamp sets I'm going to show you are probably not available anymore. But I wanted to show how you could use your stash and create something really cute. Um, so this is a flip flap here. And so what I did is I labeled each of these flip flaps with a week or a month so that she could chronologically uh, keep track of the baby's growth. So this is one week. This is a Cricut cut that I did to get the one in the week uh, as well as the other month uh, identifiers that you'll see here. This stamp set is a stamp set this actually um, is from two stamp sets. The first one is Floating By, and that's where I got the balloons for all of these pages that you're going to see. And then again, you're going to see a lot of these animals uh, that are holding the balloons um, also throughout this. But this particular bunny rabbit came from a different stamp set, um, Thoughtful Critters. Again, this is an older stamp set. Um, I'm not sure if it's still available on the website. Anything that is still available, I will link down below in the description. Uh, so you'll see a combination of the balloon with uh, various different animals here. You'll also notice that I did use our uh, enamel dots and in different colors. Again, these are, are uh, this. I use the purple dots as well as the white, or just standard white ones. Um, on this page, and I used that black journaling pen to outline this, uh, this cut of paper. So this is just a piece of paper from the Sawyer collection. And then when you flip up, I created just a place where she could journal. And that is using two different stamp sets. And in this case, I've got Mulberry and uh, Wildberry uh, ink and then use the journaling pen, again, the Le, Le Pen journaling pen to create that. So this stamp set, this saying stamp set, is uh, an older uh, stamp set that was a um, stamp of the month. And so they had a number of sayings that I used throughout, uh, throughout this book and was able then, again, to repurpose this and use this for additional things. And then the vine that is at the top of that I used from this embroidered border set. Again, I was stash going through my stash and just looking for things that would work. And then she has a, um, the ability to put a four by six picture there. So then we're gonna flip over and we're gonna move to the months. Again, you can see that I colored all of these animals and the balloons in different colors using different colored enamel dots and uh, even some older flowers that uh, are really old. Again, from my stash, these are old springtime flowers that I had and I thought that that looked really nice on the page as well. And then we have, again, that flip flap that flaps up. This is in Wisteria, my favorite memory. Uh, is one of the sayings, again, from the uh, Here's the Story stamp of the month, and then stickers. So I did use the sticker sheet from Sawyer. I didn't use everything uh, from the sticker sheet, but I did try to pick and choose things that I thought would work from the sticker sheet, including some phrases and things. So again, just trying to leverage that and adding some additional uh, uh, things to each of these pages. Then here's one of those insert pages that I mentioned. This is the three by four um, insert pages and I added some Picture My Life cards again for from uh, As You Grow, but that way she can add some additional pictures around this uh, one month and two month time frame. Sweet Dreams again came from As You Grow. And again, the theme is, is exactly the same. It's a, a flip flap with uh, a month designation, you flip it out, open for a, a place to journal to add a picture and then just highlighting or just uh, embellishing a little bit on that page. So it is a very straightforward album. Doesn't, doesn't have a lot going on, but it's sort of just enough, I think, for a baby album to be able to capture that first year, hopefully relatively simply. Um, this is her second baby, so uh, she's got a two-year-old, and so we all know how busy life gets when you have two of them. So, you know, just an easy way for her to capture some of these memories and using 
four by six as a standard print size so that she doesn't have to do a whole lot of cropping or uh, arranging uh, of pictures to, to make it work for the album. So this, uh, this piece of paper was uh, from a mix-in. I can't remember which one it was, uh, but again, same, same idea on all of these. So not, not deviating too much. Again, another Picture My Life card from the As You Grow set. Really, the colors, again, kind of complement the other colors that were in the book. And then another Picture My Life card as well. Then just switching over all of these. Again, another highlight with shimmer trim. Again, the dots, the yellow dots this time, and then some of the darker uh, pink dots, uh, closer to red dots. Uh, this is just, again, a piece of cardstock, and this is where I use that silver pen to do the outline versus the black pen. Same idea, though exactly the same. Again, the shimmer trim going down the side. Again, Picture My Life cards. These are from the Sawyer Picture My Life card pack. So again, mixing and matching what I had. Uh, black dots and white dots on this one. And then the flip flaps come in two ways. So on the previous one, you saw that we're flipping up right? We've been flipping up. Now we're using the other half of that package and we're flipping out. So that's just a way that I could use up the whole pack and not have to open another pack. It's just changing that orientation and just changing it out to be um, a flip out instead. Now I started to change my sentiments at this point uh, and started to pull in from other uh, stamp sets that I had uh, so loving right now you're gonna see the fun times one and incredible moments I'm not sure where precious moments came from I can find that one but um, and then I also switched over to all day every day uh, for loving and uh, enjoying uh, as some additional sayings and phrases just to stop repeating too many times again flipping out changing colors a little bit into the yellows, another uh, Picture My Life card from Sawyer and from Sawyer as well. And then flipping out, there's the fun times. Now this paper, um, I actually stamped. So I was sort of running out of paper that I thought would work. And so I pulled out one of my older stamp sets that is uh, perfectly imperfect patterns and I used this one right here to create this pattern with nectarine and uh, created my own paper uh, pattern paper with this. You'll notice I've got um, some stickers again down here. These are from the Sawyer paper pack. Again the stamp set using Loving was from the uh, All Day Every Day stamp set here. And then over here on the Picture My Life cards, I actually used some stickers from the Sawyer paper pack and sticker sheet to just embellish this particular Picture My Life card because I didn't have one that I really liked. Uh, and the same here. I took a phrase and I cut it in half and then I added some additional stickers to that one. Again, stickers from the sticker pack. Enjoying here. And then the last page is... Um, a way for her to capture just those dates and milestones of things that happen with your new baby over the course of the year. Now, this is where I really dug into my stash. This is a very old um, uh, font that I had, but it's really useful because it has lots of repeating letters. So I can easily line it up and create words like milestone that uses multiples of the same letter. So again, going back in that. And then this is probably the newest stamp set that I used. And this is in our current catalog, Hot Air Balloon Fest. And I just really liked it having um, this, this um, feature element down here in the bottom right-hand corner of this milestones page. So that is it. Hopefully you got some ideas on easy ways that you can do some stash busting, pulling out some of your... Um, older stamps and mixing and matching them with uh, other things that you might have uh, to create this really straightforward and fun baby album 
Um, it could actually be used for almost anything. You could do it for a school album. Um, that would kind of be fun to have one maybe for every year, a school year, not have such a big album. That would be another fun way to, to use a 6x8 album and just have one picture and then some highlight pictures of each year of school uh, for 12 months or 12 years. And uh, hopefully you got some ideas and enjoy it. Thanks so much.